Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. And yes, I'm trying to think about all the things that could possibly affect us while we're on lockdown. And, you know, <clears throat> my mind goes over time as usual, and I like to share it with my subscribers because I'm sure what I think other people think. Well, not everybody. You've got some people who are so IT literate, they'll say, oh, what a stupid bloody topic. Well, I'm just going to listen to her to see what she's going to say. Anyway, I, as usual, I don't claim to be an authority on any subject, none whatsoever. I just give my opinions, I just share my thoughts with my subscribers, and then you write your comments at the bottom, and then if I choose to respond, I do, and sometimes I don't. Anyway, if it's the first time you're passing through, you can always click the thumbs up, you can always click the thumbs down, you can subscribe or share. And if you recent subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And for existing subscribers, thank you as usual for your support. I'm Black Bright. I broadcast out of the UK and I talk about literally anything. There's no consistency at all. So when you're subscribing because you are interested in one particular topic and you think I'm going to be talking or specialising in that topic, you are going to be disappointed. There might be occasions when you like what I talk about and there's some occasions when you get frustrated with what I talk about and there's sometimes you think, oh my God, you know, what's she talking about that for? Why doesn't she talk about that? Anyway, today I thought I would talk about supposing everybody stayed at home like everybody is meant to and, you know, as many key workers as possible are meant to stay at home if the facilities are there, if they've got laptops and all the things that make the systems work. And yes, you've got goodness knows how many million staying at home in the UK. Would the internet be able to cope? That's what I wondered, I thought to myself. Supposing the internet crashed on top of all our other um issues and concerns and upsets and goodness knows what, what would we do? Because, you know, sometimes you think, can it get overloaded? Anyway, I decided to look it up to see if it could crash. And this is what I found out. So did you wonder yourself that question? Anyway, the internet is supplied by hundreds of network fiber optic cables around the world. It is a bit more than what we see, which is a bunch of interconnected computers. Could they crash all at once? It's unlikely because the internet is too big and too decentralized to crash all at once. However, it could crash locally or in designated areas because the increased need for speed with everyone working from home, could potentially break the whole system into parts. I mean, it could affect the hardware. If the internet breaks under the COVID-19 pressure, it will probably be because of the hardware, not the bandwidth, because the bandwidth is technically finite, i.e. it can't run out. But what if it did? How would financial markets and services and the army and the home office and the health services and the police and judicial system and public bodies and other key services interact with each other? They wouldn't. They couldn't. So the Internet has to work. It literally has to. And if it does go down like it does go down in, you know, in small businesses, it will only be for a short while. I remember there was one time when uh, one of these secure email networks, um, somebody hacked it and I think the system was down for like two to three days. It caused havoc. And now we're going green and we don't have any um, paperwork. And, you know, even like the government, they don't have, they're doing away with paperwork. So God forbid if the systems went down, everything goes down with it. There'd be no proof, no evidence, nothing. I, I assume, uh, well, I mean, most big organisers, or uh, tongue-tied, most large organisations like the Home Office and, you know, other governmental buildings, they have a backup every evening. So it wouldn't technically be a major problem, but it would cause a large enough problem if it lasted for two or three days. 
So, whether you're using Wi-Fi or hard Wi-Fi or Ethernet cables, if you are watching streaming services such as Netflix, YouTube and other similar platforms, collectively you are probably using about 75% of the bandwidth. So there's still a little bandwidth to play with. Imagine lockdown without internet. Just imagine it for a moment. How would you cope? Just no, seriously. How would you cope if there was no internet on a lockdown? I mean, it's bad enough. You're in your house, you've got limited supplies, you've got a nagging wife or a grumpy husband. And I always talk about these unsatisfying relationships. I know there's lovely relationships out there. I know there's there's loving and satisfying relationships. So I'm just talking about, when I'm talking about this, I'm just talking about, you know, I'm trying to think about coping mechanisms when things are not the way they should be. Not necessarily because that is the only kind of relationship I identify with. Of course I don't. But we're talking about how you cope and how you can preempt that kind of situation if, under stress, you have an argumentative husband or an argumentative wife. Okay? So, if you could imagine no internet, It's like going back to basics, isn't it, really? Um, Back to basics, board games, game sets, charades, remember? Um, Name that film. Is it a movie? That kind of stuff. Um, They have one for adults. I don't know what that one's about. It sounds a bit naughty. Uh, Monopoly, or we paid Monopoly over Christmas. That was brilliant. It It was nice entertainment. Chess, Jumanji, Drafts, Ludo, Dominoes, Backgammon, Crossword, Chinese Crackers, Fox and Geese, Roulette, Card Games, like Rummy. That's what you'll be going back to, basics. So when you're thinking, just make sure you have all of those things in your house before there's total lockdown. Because if, God forbid, the internet went down even for... 24 hours or five hours even, you have to think of other ways to entertain yourself. And you are relying on your partners, your family, and all of those in the house with you. There's nowhere else to go. So don't panic. Preempt it by getting this kind of stuff in. Board games, any kind of games that you can puzzle with puzzles, anything that you think you might enjoy, or even those big puzzles you can all do together. Um, Tell us stories about your experiences, your worst experience, your best experience, how you both met. If you've got children, you can talk to your children about it. Talk to your children about how you got your first job. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Your regrets, your desires, your achievements. I'm sure your children would love to know. You know, a lot of times... Your children don't even know you. You know, you you kind of, they're kind of, with the internet and the phones and everything, the children are kind of, you know, just go upstairs, get up my way, I've had a long day at work. You know, just go to your room, please. You've got, you've got until nine o'clock to be on your laptop or your phone and then get straight into bed. That's what it's usually like. So this time, your children, children can get to know you. They can talk, like I said, talk to them about your experiences, what you like, what you don't like. You know, it might be the first time they're hearing all this about you. I mean, if you normally engage with your children, this doesn't really apply. But this is just a contingency plan should the internet crash, even for a day, even for an hour. Don't panic. That's all for now. Bye bye. Short and sweet this one.